Welcome back to another digital unboxing. My name is Hafid and this week we're going to take a look at this Explosia FX custom burn propagation project example. And for the new subscribers, these are just basically, they're, they're just templates. They're motion graphics slash VFX templates for X particles, which is just a plugin for Cinema 4D that allows you to do basically all of this and more. As you can see, we have water effects, smoke effects, a lot of fluids, a lot of body dynamics, dynamics and because i don't just want to show you how i decompress a folder i created this box where i can just easily open it up just like a normal box and make this a more immersive unboxing but whatever comes inside is what is going to be exported in your folder uh, the first thing is just going to be just a quick text file with the name of the project the compatibility and just the it's copyright the second thing is just going to be an example render and this is how it's supposed to look like according to those um compatibility software we have this really cool burn coming out of like this rectangle we got like blue and purple fire a lot of smoke and as you saw in the example it's just animated so this is this object is reacting with the smoke okay so i'm gonna move this over and we can see our simulation if we zoom in we have a preview of what the fire and the smoke actually looks like i think this comes with the newest version of x particles I think this is thanks to that OpenGL that is, I think it's embedded in Cinema 4D. I don't really know how that works, but this is what is allowing us to see the smoke and then the simulation in real time. And before I go deeper into this unboxing, I just want to do a quick render check just to confirm that we can actually get that look that they advertise, you know? So I'm just going to go into my camera. I'm going to open up the cycles for the real time preview and just attach it over here on the side. One thing that I did notice about the render, at least here in cycles 4D, on the final Final render we can see that there is an emission coming out of this plane coming out of like the top of this box but on the preview we cannot see it so i don't know i didn't actually move anything on cycles that's just how the project was when i open it so if you know how to fix this just let us know in the comments and when you try this out and you don't see it do know that it's, it is going to appear in the final render okay so going deeper into this unboxing we can see that we have two dynamic objects like i told you one is a high res preset and the other one is a low res just so you can have options this pink purple grid that we have comes from the explosion effects itself and if i change it to low res you can see that it makes those voxels bigger just so we have that lower resolution next thing that we have is just the utilities themselves no emitters no generators no modifiers we have a group of utilities and and here you can see that they actually call the object a mobile phone animated which kind of gives you a hint that you can probably use this simulation if you want to animate a cool shot of a phone or just any product that has this tablet shape i feel like you can easily just like drag and drop it and just run the simulation without having to change much you know we also have this fuel emitter and this bottom burner and both of them are the uh, disactivated on the viewport and on the render port the last thing you should know is that if you want to change the color of this quickly just go to the material itself the first one is this object material this is what is assigned to the phone itself and i feel like the most important part is this emission node which is going to give you that glow on the screen if you're going for the phone um, animation again for some reason it doesn't show on my real-time preview but on the render itself you are going to be able to see it so here's where you can change the color of that emission and the other material that we have is just for the smoke itself as you can see this gets very complicated so i'm not really i'm not capable of teaching you this of showing you this off but usually when you select a material over here on the right you're going to be able to change the color so just set it up over there but another thing about the material itself for the fuel this is an emissive material i think we're changing the color of the emission so if i set it up to black there you can see that we no longer have that emission from the fuel if you're still learning like me i know this is going to be really helpful for you so just get to it you know download the project just play around with it try not to get overwhelmed don't change a lot unless you're really advanced and you already find out exactly what you're going to do with this project but in my case i'm just gonna take it slow and actually if you want to see the animation that i come up with go to my instagram profile that is hafeed.particles and that's just the account that i have dedicated to upload the versions that i come up with just by analyzing these examples but that is pretty much it message me on instagram or comment Comment down in the description of YouTube if you have any questions, concerns, complaints, if you want to complain to me if I'm not doing this right. But that is everything for this week. My name is Hafid and I'll see you on the next video.